God bless you, family, and may King Jesus be blessing you greatly right now. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. So, will more be revealed regarding the time of the rapture? Uh, I believe so, and I believe more is being revealed each and every day in, 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 in different areas. Might not be necessarily in the timing of the rapture today, but I believe the Lord is putting puzzle pieces together more and more, giving us a better uh, picture. And praise the Lord for that. Uh, it's so fun. This morning when I was reading my scripture uh, from Psalm 25, 14, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. The secret of the Lord is with them. That shall be. It is. The secret of the Lord is with us, and God will show them his covenant. This was just interesting coming across this uh, in, in the days we are living in. The secret of the Lord, okay? The, these hidden things of the Lord that the world doesn't know, that the world doesn't see. When the rapture comes, it will come upon them like a thief. But on us who are loving his appearing, waiting for it, it shall not come on upon you like a thief. <clears throat> so this encourages it encourages me knowing that that secret is with us it's with us it just needs to be opened up fleshed out discovered seen clearly understood that we have it right i never really under uh really saw this in light of end times the secret of the lord is with them that fear him also tells me like conditional let's be fearing the lord more than we fear anything have that reverence towards the lord okay so that's uh that's pretty awesome all right more ufo stories here we go just saw this one from end time headlines disc shaped craft hovers over concert venue in colorado all right so people saw it quote what's even crazier is that as soon as we all started noticing it and stopped what we were doing to pay attention to it the craft tipped at an angle and slowly started moving belly first to the east. All right, this was about June 5th, so about a month ago, but it just came out um, yesterday or today here. Okay, at the Red Rocks Amphitheater in Morrison. Then it started fading away until it was invisible. So it didn't go anywhere. It just like went to a place and started to fade. It didn't simply shoot off into the distance. It simply dissolved into the ether. We all watched it vanish. <clears throat> the silent hovering object was long, about the size of a three-story office building, and had three levels of windows and lights. One of our coworkers suddenly said to us, Hey, is that what is that over there? It looks like a spaceship. We all turned to look in the direction, and sure enough, a UFO was hovering about a half a mile to a mile north of Red Rocks. <clears throat> they all turned their attention. They are looking at this thing. Um, it faded into nothing as soon as it knew it was being watched. Uh, simply dissolved again. A dozen of us saw it. We all kept asking each other, are you seeing this too? It was a resounding yes. Oh, gosh. So several years ago, this thing would be like, these guys are goofy. They must be on something. But now we hear more and more. These are birth pains. Well, how, well, how do birth pains look? More intense, closer together. We're hearing more and more. In the last few years, you would sometimes hear something about um, unidentified aerial phenomenon, UFOs, things like that. Now it is just like pumping out. Like it's been the last couple of weeks. It's almost like every week there's some major sighting. Okay. All right. This lets us know that cover up, that that agenda, that narrative for what happened to millions of people. First Thessalonians four, the catching away, the rapture. This will be the narrative, alien deception. <clears throat> and just the way this UFO was presenting, how it like dimmed and then it was gone. This sounds like, you know, that Project Bluebeam thing, the technology. Um, and they could have technology that's even greater than this Project Bluebeam, where they can make things appear that look very, very real. Uh, and it sounded like, you know, they could squelch it up and down and it's, and its brilliance and its appearance. So I, I could totally see that with an alien deception type of thing. 
So we're not going to be deceived like uh, Jesus tells us in Matthew 24. All right, another thing I wanted to speak on. So with Hurricane Barrel. All right, man, the Lord is revealing more. This is what I've been talking about um, in these last days. He's going to reveal more. And I'm going to continue to study and pray and seek the scriptures that he... And I've been praying, like I said, Lord, even show me when the precise timing of the rapture is. I want to know. I'm interested. I am excited. I'm getting that crown for those who love his appearing. Um, I hope many of you guys get that as well. But I'm interested. You know, this is fascinating. This is like for those who like to, to follow the charts in uh, stocks or finance or Bitcoin or you like to build something or, you know, whatever your thing is for me, it's Bible prophecy. It's King Jesus. It's God in the flesh glorified coming for us. Nothing could be greater and more wonderful. So I'm interested. All right. So barrel, hurricane barrel, Revelation 21. All right. Revelation 21. We see some different things here. It's quite interesting. Okay, talking about the new Jerusalem coming down. All right, so verse 10 of 21. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. All right, very cool. Okay, so it's coming down like that. And one verse earlier, verse 9. I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. That's us. So we are akin to like, Jesus wife as well as this holy city these are these are just pictures of of us the body of Christ those redeemed by Christ Jesus blood so this beautiful city coming down all right uh, having the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper stone clear as crystal <clears throat> all right let's flip to continuing the same chapter we get to talking about the wall of the uh, around the city. Okay, this is very interesting. So the wall around us, pictured in this city. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. Here we go, precious stones. First, jasper, second, sapphire, third, chalcedony, the fourth, emerald, the fifth, sardonyx, the sixth, sardius, the seventh, chrysolite, the eighth, barrel, hurricane barrel, the eighth barrel, eight, the number of new beginnings, the eighth part of this wall, the wall around us, described as this city, New Jerusalem, like a bride, glorious, brilliant, all these precious stones, the eighth barrel, okay? Book of Daniel talks about knowledge will be increased in times, in the time of the end. And shut up the book until then when this knowledge will be increased. The eighth barrel, hurricane barrel, it makes me also think the Lord says many times in Scripture, this is great. The Lord has given us uh, insight, guys, and I just wanted to share some of it, uh, how the Lord can be in many times in Scripture. He's in the whirlwind. Uh, in Kings 2, when Elijah was taken up in a whirlwind, right, to glory. Um, even in Job 37, out of the south cometh the whirlwind, and cold out of the north uh, Job 38, one chapter later. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Hurricane barrel, wind, whipping, 160, 150 sustained mile per hour wind. Hurricane barrel, barrel, the eighth level in the wall uh, of protection around the city, right? A wall protects the city. We are the city in Revelation. The wall around us, barrel, is one of the precious stones in there. Eight number of new beginnings. We are going to have that new beginning soon when King Jesus takes us, right? Could the Lord be giving us little winks here, like the, the naming of these hurricanes? The people who name it, they have no idea. But the Lord, what's it say? He turns the hearts of kings like water, right? People will do things they don't even know. They're just like, let's do barrel. The Lord impresses that upon people to do anything. Uh, what else with the whirlwind? You know, that's just a few... <clears throat> Okay, that's just a few uh, things, okay, regarding that. All right, I did want to touch on, yes, from Daniel 12 here, guys. Jump into a few different scriptures, but uh, these scriptures, 
are really good. Okay. Um, most of Daniel chapter 12, you got to check it out, but I'll just read some of it. Okay. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stands for the children of thy people, uh, shall be a time of trouble such as never before. So Michael's going to stand up for Israel during the time of tribulation. Okay. Okay, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Stars are angels. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Yeah, many are running to and fro in this day and age. And knowledge shall increase. We have technology. We can use that thing like a great tool to learn more and more. Right? Commentaries on scripture. Different uh, brethren who are empowered by the Holy Spirit to teach certain um, aspects of scripture to us. Right? Uh, knowledge will increase. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay. All right. Jumping to 12 verse 9 here. And he said... Go thy way, um, back up to verse 8, sorry. And I heard, but I understood not regarding all these things by the time of the end. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? What is this? Amen. In our common language, what does this mean? Uh, and he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. We can know more and more. God's word says we will. And that, that, that all that, that has been described <clears throat> in these prophecies in scripture is going to be opened up to all things, to, uh, to us of all things. I spoke on this in uh, John 14 yesterday, how um, we can know, well, how did it read? That we might know all things all things so there's just more that we can know i think it's it's all out there and it's all in god's word and it's being revealed in the world we just need to be looking for it right you don't notice things until you start looking for it right you might be looking for like how many certain cars do i see out there or red cars and then once you start looking you see a lot to make a, an analogy there okay many shall be purified and made white and tried but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand we have the knowledge of god the uh the wisdom being revealed um, like i read there in psalm 25 as well <sighs> okay john 14 27 i think that's what i wanted to <clears throat> close with so, I hope this kind of uh, got you guys thinking about some of these things and just think, like looking with a discerning eye to uh, things going on. John 14, 27, here we go. Back it up to 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, and let it not be afraid. What great words to end this video with. Don't be afraid, don't fear. King Jesus gives you his peace. Let that sink in and permeate every single cell of your being, your spirit, your soul too. If you have any sin in your life, if you have anything distracting you, anything of the world that might be creeping in, really push that stuff out. Repent unto the Lord. Lord, I'm sorry for whatever sin. Uh, please forgive me and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Keep the blinders on. Stay in scripture. Stay in prayer. Integrate some fasting. Make sure you're fellowshipping and not staying isolated so that the devil can isolate and attack and divide us and conquer us, right? A lot of times the government is doing that too. Stay at home, don't go out, um, shelter in place. No, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do any of that. So, 
All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Please quick hit the thumbs up on this video and please share my video. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you next time. God bless you.